Hello and welcome to Crystal Beach and today I'm heading out to Port Coburn for the 46th annual um, uh, Canal Days. Uh, but the water's a little rough, uh, rough out there, so we're going to try it anyway. Anyway, I got the ski ready, just waiting to launch. There's quite a few people here today. But I have a new accessory on my sea do. That is a flag holder, a flagpole holder, so you can fly a flag. I'll tell you a bit, about, bit more about that during the video. Uh, once I get out there, I'll set it up and show you, and we'll get a flag flying as we head into Port Coburn. Uh, it's up to 30 degrees today, which is, what, 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, with humidity, it's going to feel closer to 100 degrees. So uh, very hot, very humid, and uh, like I said, I'm just waiting to get in here. And uh, we should be in very shortly, and away. All right, we're out on the water. A little breezy, like I said. Uh, it's meant to be gusting like 28 kilometers an hour. Uh, we could get worse. But it's a long weekend here in Canada, August weekend. Uh, a lot of people are around. Uh, in the bay here, it's quite nice. But as we head out towards Port Coburn, uh, which is about 20 kilometers away, it's going to get a little choppy. So uh, I think we're going to get wet. Well, anyway, we're going to see how far we can get and hopefully we can make it to Port Coburn for Canal Days. So uh, join me. My name is Nigel, Lake Erie vlogger, and we're on Lake Erie once again. pick the trailer up and bring it to me uh, but so right now I'm comfortable with this very comfortable the water is very warm it's probably about nearly 80 degrees uh, Fahrenheit the water in places you can really feel the warm we've got quite a stiff southwesterly wind blowing directly at me right now which is really pushing these swells up oh, once I find some calmer water Oh, I will uh, show you about this flagpole I've got. I will stick a flag on it, and I got the appropriate flag for today, since it's Canal Days, it's all about the ships and the maritime uh, life of Port Coburn. That oh, wind's picking up again! <laughs> There's a big one. There you go. Hey. What a slam. Port Coburn's on the horizon. Jeez. Where did that come from? A trip that usually takes me about 20, 25 minutes. In eco mode, that is. It's taking me 40, 45 minutes. But anyway, I'm just about arriving in Port Coburn. Feeling a little tired. show you uh, this product that was sent to me. I'm going to do a full review of it in a different video, but basically it's, uh, it's a flagpole up on the back of your sea -Doo. It's been designed specifically for the sea -Doo. Uh, specifically the newer models, like the 2018s upwards, I believe. So the GTXs, GTI, GTI, anything that can have a, a tow pole on the back, this uh, product will slip into the back. So uh, let me show you what I'm going to do, because I'm going to get it ready and get a flag up. So it basically just screws in there, and for safety reasons, it gets clipped onto the back of your seat, like that. And what I'm gonna do then is just uh, stick the flagpole on. 
Uh, I'll just put it all together and I'll show you. But I'll, like I said, I'll do a full detailed video uh, which will follow this video in the very near future. And I'll tell you how you can get your hands on it and uh, how much it'll cost and stuff like that. But this is just a little teaser, really. Because I know there's a lot of people out there, especially in the US, with the elections coming up, the Trump flags, the Harris flags, and so on. Here up in Canada, it'll be the freedom flags and just everything. Yeah, you might even see a few Syrian flags, who knows, or Palestinian. It's just coming, it's a flag for everyone, basically. So anyway, I'm going to hug it together and show you. But in the meantime, look at Port Coburn. Some time later. All right, all put together. Took me like 90 seconds, but there you go. It says ship junkies, by the way. It's a Facebook group for uh, ship watchers, spotters, and stuff like that. You just love the big ships of the Great Lakes. I think that looks pretty awesome. <laughs> It's a shame because uh, just over a month ago it was the Euros and I was flying my little Eagland flag on the back of my sea do. It looks so sad. I wish I had this like a month earlier. Anyway, the good thing about Port Coburn when you get here, it's full of ships. So uh, I'll go with transport. It's been here now for seven months and it's like, yeah, it's really being scrapped now completely. The Eagle, I'll go with Titan I'm going to go with. Uh, the nose at the front basically gives it away that it also is good for going in the ocean. Uh, the bulbous nose there. So it's well known, it's, it can handle the, shit, uh, the seas, it's designed to go through the seas. But you can also tell by its markings on it that it's been through the locks many times. And we also have a few tall ships down here, and also a Government of Canada vessel, uh, the Coast Guard uh, ship, uh, Limnos. Fisheries in Ocean Canada, uh, away from the crew there. So there's going to be thousands of people down here uh, enjoying the uh, long weekend festiv festivities. There's a concert at night and stuff like that. But today it's all about street vendors and street performers and so on. So these guys working really hard here <laughs> the guys from energy power sports are here what's happening lads i'm having a great time yeah this is a nice man of two i like this one i can't afford it i'm still 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 got this one can i trade <laughs> 20 dollars a day 20 i'm taking it so, yeah. <laughs> the fuel, yeah, I can imagine. But it's good to see a couple of guys from uh, Energy Power Sports.
Empire Sandy is just uh, leaving here to get onto the water. She's pretty choppy out there. See how she handles. I might follow it out. from everyone out here on Empire Sandy. I'm gonna watch it go out on the water because it is choppy out there. It'll be interesting to see how she handles and uh, see if it starts throwing up. So uh, we'll head on out there and wait for it. This is the Empire Sandy and she's one of 1,464 Empire ships that were built or acquired for war service by the British government. She was built back in England in 1943 as a deep sea tugboat. She was tasked with the Royal Navy work and salvaging merchant ships damaged in the Battle of the Atlantic and other naval engagements during the Second World War. In 1952, she was sold to a Canadian firm, the Great Lakes Paper, and was renamed Chris M. Once in service on the Great Lakes, she spent 15 years towing timber rafts for Lake Superior logging companies. And then in the early 1970s, the A ship was to be sold to the breakers for scrap. But the steel hull was still in very good condition and she was bought by Nautical Adventures Company uh, for a possible conversion. They completed the rebuild of the vessel as a three-masted schooner in the style of an 1880s vessel. And then she assumed her original name, Empire Sandy. Empire Sandy is now providing chartered toll ship tours from Toronto, but today she's here at the Pope Corbin Canal Days. And while she was here back in 2017, she was actually involved in a collision with the Liberian freighter Inna. Uh, the collision happened in Lock 8 of the Welling Canal. Uh, the Empire Sandy had entered the canal after a strong winds had diverted it from the scheduled cruise on Lake Erie. While in Lock 8, the Empire Sandy struck the lock wall before running into the stern of the Inna. The inner was undamaged and there was reports of no injuries. Uh, the inner proceeded with its voyage and the Empire Sandy was inspected for damage and uh, later reports showed there was no damage sustained. Is it for Port Coburn? I'm gonna make my way home somehow. Uh, it is pretty rough out there, so we'll see how far we get. Um, nice chat to a few people around here. A few boats They're just here chilling out for the uh, canal days. And we're out of here.
tell you what, these waves are a little big out here. <laughs> I'm over halfway. It's quicker coming back. I, I was doing an average of 32, 33 on the way in. And now I'm doing uh, probably about 45 most of the way back. It's a little bit easier, but the waves are bigger than this morning. some ride white caps all around
So anyway, another adventure over and done with, Port Coburn, canal days, I'm gonna go home, relax, because it took me 40 minutes to get back again. And my legs are like jelly after that, my knees. So anyway, until the next video, stay safe, see you soon.